It's crazy that we really don't have a detention center in Louisville. So hopefully by the end of this session, there will be one on the way. Right now, tonight at 6 on WHAS 11 News, it could be the return of a resource community leaders say is desperately needed, a youth detention center reopening in downtown Louisville. Today, Kentucky lawmakers announcing their proposal, an $8.9 million package. They told us about it in a news conference in Frankfurt. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Profit. We have team coverage for you on the developments tonight. But first, Isaiah Kim Martinez talked with lawmakers and Louisville's mayor today about the details. And Isaiah, we certainly know that there's been a push to get this center reopened for quite some time. 100% Doug, and even more so now as state and city leaders describe youth crime as one of the primary drivers of violence in Louisville right now. In fact, there are still plenty of questions though in the meantime and question marks, including whether the General Assembly would even choose to fund the effort as session picks up back next week. We've heard the cries from mothers losing their kids younger and younger. He was only 15. He was just a baby. Now, Kentucky Representative Kevin Bratcher believes it's the time to bring back a resource he says has been a detrimental loss to the city's safety. Police of Louisville have been asking for it. The clergy of Louisville has been asking for it. In Frankfurt, Bratcher and other lawmakers from Louisville proposed an $8.9 million package to reconstruct a state-run youth detention facility in the heart of downtown Louisville and to do it at the same location at West Jefferson Street with the hope to fit more than 50 beds and mental health services. If we don't get a grip on juvenile crime in Louisville, we're not going to get a grip on the crime wave in Louisville. Bratcher and the rest of a work group focused on juvenile justice met with Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg, Interim Police Chief Jackie Gwynn Billaroyal, and Deputy Mayor David James earlier this week. After his State of the City address Thursday, Greenberg told us he backs the initiative. Our city will put together a partnership to provide other services to juveniles that find themselves ensnared in the legal system. Representative Bratcher told me that your team told him juvenile crime is now the largest driver of violent crime in the city. Is that the the case. It, it is unfortunate the amount of juvenile crime that is happening in our city. It is far too much. This is just one part of the solution. The proposal comes as juvenile detention centers across the state have cited major staffing shortages. Bratcher says they're recommending Governor Andy Bashir start a new program to bring back retired troopers to work as youth workers, potentially in Louisville. Well, Isaiah, we know they closed the center because of budget cuts, so where are they going to get the money now to reopen it? Well, Doug, the plan is for the facility to be state-run and funded, unlike the one that closed back in 2019, which was city-run. Bratcher hopes they can rearrange funds within the Justice and Public Safety Cabinet or possibly have a budget item. Now, the plan is to include this in House Bill 3, which will be discussed when legislators head back to Frankfurt. That's on February 7th, next Tuesday. Doug. All right, coming up very soon, moving yep. fast. All right, thank you, Isaiah.